What's up, Reject Nation? I'm Greg Alba. No, I'm John Humphrey. So we're gonna watch today uh, Taika Waititi's trailer for Jojo Rabbit, the official trailer that uh, Disney is apparently very excited about Disney. inheriting. <laughs> Disney approved trailer. <laughs> Guys, it's my birthday today, so a couple of things I wanted to tell you. I'm going on Fandom Entertainment, Screen Junkies News in just a couple of hours. Make sure to tune in. Probably do a live stream later ourselves to uh, catch up on some movie news because I was gone all weekend shooting a short film. Second thing, thank you to everyone who's checked out our Patreon page. Over there we do weekly Q&As as well as TV show reaction stream alongs for many shows. That includes Cobra Kai Season 2, Haunting a Hill House Season 1, Gotham, Did All the Stranger Things Season 3, John recently started up Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and there are several shows that we do stream alongs for and have reaction highlights for as well, so there's footage included. Attack on Titan, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, My Hero Academia, the movie included as well, Death Note, Code Geass just started that up, One Punch Man Season 1, Hunter x Hunter, and of course, Supernatural. So make sure to go check out our Patreon page as soon as you can. Let's go into this. That's a cute accent. Today you boys will be involved in such activities as ball games, ambush techniques, zim blowing stuff up. I don't think I can do this. Ross? Of course you can. When I was your age, I had an imaginary friend. Got me in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to burn some books! <laughs> Growing up too fast, ten-year-olds shouldn't be celebrating war and talking politics. Hey, look. I was more of a young boy's blind fanaticism. You know, Jews can read each other's minds. But how would you know if you saw one? They could look just like us. Hi. Ooh. That's actual tension here. Yeah. You know what I am? Sick. A Jew. Gesundheit. <laughs> 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 what am I going to do? No idea. Got it. I've been going to the house and blame Winston Church. <laughs> Wanna negotiate? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be a big trouble. That is the strongest thing in the world. Your mother took me in. She's kind. She treats me like a person. You two seem to be getting on well. She doesn't seem like a bad person. Jojo, you're a ten-year-old kid who likes dressing up in a funny uniform and wants to be part of a club. <laughs> wow, it's like a real part here. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Sense anymore. Yeah, I know it's definitely not a good time to be a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That looks delightful. That looks Disney rific. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like the mouse is gonna love the They reshot all that stuff with the children and uh, the cutesy stuff between uh, mm -hmm. our main character and uh, the Jewish girl, just to, you know, they add, add some Disney flair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. None of this was, of that was originally in there. Yeah. This movie. It was supposed to be a pitch black pro Nazi movie. <laughs> I like that trailer more than the first one. I like the first trailer, uh, but this one got me a lot more interested. It feels more like a Taika Waititi film. Yeah, uh, this, this hooked me for a whole movie, whereas the last one definitely did feel more like a teaser for a satire. You know? Yeah, felt like a really good, like probably the best SNL adaptation. <laughs> This was like an SNL sketch and then they made it into a movie or something. That's kind of what it felt like t to me. Um, but then, you know, here you still got, of course, all that, you know, great satire humor. It's satire, people. Try not to get your panties in a bunch here. Oh, yeah. But then, oh, but really having that, um, having more of that heart really present and more of that emotional arc for their main character really present as well. Well, and the conflict that he's probably going to come into, because it seemed more clear to me that, oh, his, being that his imaginary friend is Hitler, he's probably going to have to come to grips with that as he realizes, you know, more and more about humanity and has more experiences with this girl that teach yes. him about, you know, 
again, humanity. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, the fact that... I love that line she says at the end. Of, you're not a Nazi. You're 10. You just want to yeah. be... You want to feel like you belong and you want to be a part of a club and wear a funny uniform. And I feel like for a lot of people, that is kind of how you get roped into a situation like this or indoctrinated into a situation That's like how this. we got involved in YouTube, John. That's exactly That's it. We just wanted to be a part of... We just wanted to be a part of what all the cool kids were doing at the time. Also, Scarlett Johansson's accent. There's yeah. something about it that just... Uh, <laughs> it's, for some reason, the word that comes to mind is, that's a cute accent. I don't know why. <laughs> Go to Germany, <laughs> never my heard, friend. You never will heard be a very, German, very excited. Never heard a German accent where we're like, that sounds cute. Maybe because I'm aware it's Scarlett Johansson doing it. It's probably she can make anything cute. <laughs> well, there's something about like the way Sam Rockwell and Scarlett Johansson are doing their accents that don't seem like they're... Yeah, I feel like there needs to be a sense of like it's not entirely realistic, especially for Sam Rockwell. It needs to feel a little bit heightened so they can get away with some of the humor when as opposed to really embodying a you know a German Nazi character, you know what well, I mean? I, I feel like there may I don't know if this is intentional at all, but I feel like there is a stereotype that the German accent and German language in general is very harsh sounding, and so I wonder if there's almost an effort here to make the yeah. accent itself lighter and more not appeal not to say that, but you know, just more soft on the ear or something to heighten well, again yeah. that satire because also you do associate that accent with a lot of the subject matter they're gonna be yeah. touching here. Even though I am fully aware that this is satire and even though there is more of that heartfelt storyline that they were teasing here there still is a fine line you do have to ride <laughs> when you're oh, dealing yeah. with oh, this yeah. subject matter that you're actually going into World War II territory you do have to be you know a little bit delicate to not cross a certain line and the way the performances are being handled with those characters and I don't remember if we actually saw Rebel Wilson in this one yeah yeah a little bit uh, or, with the book burning thing. yes oh yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So yes. Some books? <laughs> all right well, and that's the other funny thing, too, is just seeing <laughs> all these funny. different things you associate with Nazis and just, you know, groups like the Nazis being filtered yeah. through, just like all these children for whom it's just Boy Scout activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you're captured all through the eyes of, uh, main of character Jojo, is Jojo, yeah. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. but captured all through the eyes of Jojo, who is questioning all this in a, in a, in a kind of, like, humorous, deadpan kind of manner. Yeah. I, I think you can get away with a lot of this. I don't know. I mean, I feel like this is going to be a really funny film. Yeah. I I wonder what poignant points they're going to be making about it. You mm -hmm. know, I'm, hey, it's it's not a good than, time to other be other a than Nazi. Just be funny. This this feels like a Wes Anderson movie in a lot of ways too. Yeah, I can definitely glean some of those aesthetic, uh, you know, types and things like that. Especially because too, it's it's more period. Thinking about, I, I don't have the greatest working knowledge of uh, Taika Waititi's like deep cuts, but I feel like they're mostly in a present day or something close to that. This so. feels nothing like Thor Ragnarok. I, what the hell is this? Gives? This is not what the gives? only movie he made. Uh. <laughs> yeah. This definitely filled me with, I mean, I had faith just hearing what it was about and who was behind it, but especially as compared to the first teaser, which was neat, I actually got really dazzled by this, and this made me really want to see the film as soon as possible, because this this gave me that feeling of this could be heartfelt and fun and also very timely and kind of the perfect, again, mm -hmm. little satire, mm -hmm. so uh, I'm really rooting for this. I hope this does well, and I think, yeah, that those heart elements, I hope, can kind of bring the people around who don't seem yeah. to understand understand what this movie's going for because mm. we have had at least a couple messages from our last uh, uh, trailer reaction basically be like how could you support a movie like this and I'm like you, you must you did really well and that's people for you. <laughs> Satire and sarcasm are tricky. I also I mean some people probably do get genuinely offended I feel like some people also like Disney. Feign offense as well. Mm -hmm. It's all just, sometimes it's just, you know, pretend. You I, never I know which one either. I try to be offended either. just in case. I, I, th <laughs> I do think, though, that at the end of the day, that when this is one of those films that probably has more controversy surrounding it based off of marketing and mm -hmm. subject matter, as opposed to when you watch the actual film and you walk out and you go, oh... That's not as big Type of a is deal totally as a Nazi. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. He's to a, be Nazi. a Nazi. That's so what he's that's trying why to it's say. fine, guys. Because even Nazi children himself. are Nazis. You know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it just makes sense. Well, what do you think of Jojo Rabbit? I also think this would be good for Fox Searchlight because they could use like a bona fide hit on their hands. And I, I, I don't know if this will be a hit, but I think, you know, right. having the, some of the stars behind it and having Taika's name behind Marvel it. Marvel director, two Marvel stars, yeah. Rebel Wilson, a Logan star. Star? A <laughs> yeah, star. Man. People thought Ready or Not might be a good hit, but... <laughs> anyway. Hey, so. critical reviews matter a lot <laughs> to the All box right. office. 
All right, guys. Well, thank you for being here. Um, keep a lookout. Might do a live stream later. Make sure to check me out on Fandom Entertainment later on today. Don't know what we're talking about. I need to get my brain power ready. You guys can subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. We'll catch you guys soon.